We all know Megalodon, that big, friendly underwater fish. Okay, that's a lie, Megalodon was the biggest and most terrifying shark that ever lived. But he also had a whole lot of terrifying enemies that most of us don't even know about. So buckle up, cause we're meeting the terrors on Megalodon's most hated list. From a stealthy, titan-sized prehistoric animal to a non-dinosaur threat, let's meet the 15 biggest Megalodon enemies that ever existed. <sighs> Number 15. Titanoboa it's a pretty basic rule of nature that any animal with the word Titan in its name will be unimaginably huge, but surprisingly the Titanoboa was only around half the size of the Megalodon. However, what it lacked in size, it more than made up for in other areas. I guess if we're looking for a comparison, the Titanoboa is the Batman to Megalodon Superman. The Titanoboa may not have the Megalodon size or power, but it had one key skill in its arsenal stealth. While the Megalodon preferred to just storm in and chew up its prey, the Titanoboa would hide in camouflage, waiting for its meal. When that meal finally arrived, the Titanoboa would just swallow it whole, and could then live on that single meal for an entire year. Unlike the Megalodon, which was continually eating. The Meg is like a bodybuilder, ask it about creatine too. The Titanoboa is, from a biological perspective, weaker than the Megalodon, but it had such a uniquely stealthy approach to survival that you could easily see it being a worthy adversary. Although you wouldn't want to send a Titanoboa to protect Gotham, there'd be nothing left. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Mosasaurus Contrary to what your instincts may tell you, the Mosasaurus is not a dinosaur. Sorry to disappoint the very fabric of your reality. As they're more commonly known, the Mosasaur is a now extinct reptile that went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous Era. So that's fun. The first Mosasaur fossils were discovered in 1764 in a limestone quarry on Holland's Meuse River though Native Americans had found the fossils long before. They had detailed their findings through images and believed that the mysterious bones were mythical beings' remains. However, many people may have already discovered Mosasaur remains by the time that they were first reported. Fossils have been found on every continent, suggesting that these 50-foot-long beasts were worldwide which was likely bad news for, well, any animal. According to experts, these big boys tended to eat, well, whatever they wanted, and swallowed them whole. Of all the animals that existed in the days of the Megalodon, the Mosasaur was definitely one of the most formidable foes. While it may have been comparatively tiny, it seems to have absolutely no limits regarding what it eats or how it behaves. Well, we all have uncles like that, I guess. Number 13. Leviathan it may seem kind of weird to suggest that a prehistoric whale was a notable enemy of one of the world's largest sharks, but the Leviathan, also known as the Leviathan, Melvilli, was not like the whales we know today. If man had been around at that time, this would have been a man-eating whale, and that would have made for a very different Moby Dick. While nobody knows for sure, paleontologists have estimated that the Leviathan would have grown up to 50 feet in length and weighed around 10,000 pounds. Its skull alone measured around 10 feet long, with teeth that measured 14 inches. So it's really not all that surprising to consider that this whale could more than hold its own in the same waters as sharks. In fact, paleontologists have concluded that the Leviathan often ate seals, dolphins, and likely other whales. Behavior that is not unlike a shark, the Leviathan is nothing like the whales that we see today. This animal lived through an era defined by giant animals eating whatever they wanted, and it thrived. So take this as a life lesson, diets are dumb, even the old-timey whale said it. Number 12. Prehistoric Orcas For decades, the big question about the Megalodon has been a simple one. 
why did it vanish? Scientists have since concluded that the animal died out simply because of competition and a lack of food. One of the major causes of that, prehistoric ancestors of our modern day killer whales or orcas. Back in its heyday, the Meg had pretty much free reign over the oceans to chow down anything it wanted. But during the late Miocene era, the waters began seeing the arrival of all new species, notably baleen whales and orcas. Since the Meg relied on slow-moving whales for food, these new species were a total nightmare. These whales moved fast, and thanks to the orca's adaptable genetics, lived in conditions which the megalodon could not survive. I guess what I'm saying is that, as with everything and everyone in history, somebody is always better equipped to deal with changing times. And that somebody was not the Meg, but the orca. As a result of the orca's speed and ability to survive in many conditions, the Meg found itself lacking in food. Often it would have to resort to cannibalism just to get a meal. The orca, meanwhile, thrived in just about all areas of the ocean, surviving on much smaller and more sustainable prey than the Meg. So I guess there's a happy ending, unless you were a young megalodon. Number 11. Hylosaurus Back in the late Cretaceous period, the Megalodon was far from the only terrifying marine beast lurking in our planet's oceans. The Tylosaurus is now considered to be one of the most well-adapted and therefore most terrifying sea creatures to have existed during this time. The Megalodon would have hated it. Of all the Mosaurs in the ocean, the Tylosaurus was easily one of the largest and most vicious. While the Megalodon generally would just find and gulp down an animal, the Tylosaurus had a much more aggressive and violent method to scoring itself some chum. When it found a tasty-looking treat, this impressively sized beast would ram the animal with its mighty head, stunning the prey and only then consuming it. So not only do you get eaten, but you also get the mother of all headaches. What a fun, sexy time for you. It's highly unlikely that the Tylosaurus would have even a slight chance of beating Megalodon in a straight-up fight. But the Tylosaurus's habits of hunting in the same waters was no doubt a major irritation to the Meg, especially if the Tylosaurus was having such a good time terrorizing and traumatizing all those who lived under the sea. Poor Sebastian. Number 10. Macroraptorial Sperm Whales in case the word macroraptorial has confused you, let me calm your spirit. These are just huge sperm whales that were also highly predatory. Given their impressive size and capabilities as a predator, I think it's a safe bet that the Megalodon was not a big fan of this guy. In their time, the macroraptorial sperm whale were arguably the apex predator of their chosen habitats, a trait they shared with the legendary Megalodon, but in terms of modern-day equivalents, they don't have much in common with what we know as sperm whales. Modern sperm whales have small, largely non-functional teeth, while the macroraptorials had some of the largest teeth of any animal, with some measuring up to 12 inches. Experts now claim that the macroraptorial sperm whales actually have more in common with killer whales than sperm whales, which is a good fact to remember if you ever get in an argument with someone who claims to know a lot about whales. Macroraptorial sperm whales were easily one of the more formidable foes during the era of the Meg, and given that that they hunted large marine mammals, it's fair to say that this animal stole a lot of food from the Meg, which probably didn't go down too well with this big guy. Number 9. Lyopleurodon Believe it or not, some people insist that the Megalodon is not actually the most powerful aquatic predator in history. That honor apparently goes to the Lyopleurodon, an 82-foot-long beast that was notorious for its stealthy approach to finding food. But why listen to experts when we can just explore this incredible animal for ourselves? The Lyopleurodon was arguably one of the best marine hunters in history, known for cruising silently through shallow waters in the late Jurassic era. Thanks to their long jaws and rows of sharp teeth, these animals would make quick work of just about any animal it wanted. From crocodiles to giant fish and even other pleosaurs. And as if that's not scary enough, it could smell its prey underwater using their scent-like homing beacon and ensuring that they could never escape. 
That's straight out of a horror movie. If the Lyopleurodon was around today, it would easily be the largest animal on Earth and probably would be responsible for an unimaginable amount of deaths. It doesn't take a genius to see why this incredible creature was such a problem for the Megalodon. It could find food anywhere and ensure that it never escaped. But what do you think? Is the Lyopleurodon more mighty than the Megalodon? Let us know in the comments below. Number 8. Basking Shark Many people probably don't know, but there are some prehistoric animals still with us. One of them, the basking shark, is actually known to be the second largest fish in the ocean, second only to the whale shark. While it couldn't beat the Meganophyte, it was probably still an unwanted foe. On average, the basking shark measures anywhere between 20 and 26 feet long, though some have grown to over 32 feet, weighing between 6,600 and 13,000 pounds, these are some impressive and intimidating animals. And a filter feeder to boot. Filter feeders do not prey on just one target, but instead gulp down hundreds and hundreds of prey animals in one big bite. They're so calm and they're, they're beautiful. They move so smoothly through the water. Of course, the Megalodon could do the same thing, but with much, much bigger animals. However, the Basking Shark and the Megalodon shared the same environment, meaning they were likely enemies in the same patch, competing for the same food sources. Like many of the animals we're discussing, it's highly unlikely unlikely that the Megalodon and the Basking Shark, but they were likely poaching food from one another, which is incredibly frustrating for us all. Take it from me, a buffet enthusiast. Number 7. Great White Shark Yes, the largest predator fish on our planet today was also a big old threat to the largest predator on the planet even back then. The great white shark has always been one of the most dangerous and intimidating animals on the planet. And if you can threaten one of the most notorious predators in the water, that's more than good enough. Some scientists believe that the great white shark is actually responsible for wiping out the giant megalodon. According to some experts, the extinction of the megalodon was caused by competitive predators, namely the great white shark. This incredible speedy and agile predator was just naturally able to outperform the Megalodon, earning itself a whole lot of delicious snacks, right under the nose of the big guy himself, and apparently the evidence is all there to back that claim up. Somewhere, anyway. The jury is out on whether or not the Great White was actually responsible for the ultimate extinction of the Megalodon, but some people genuinely do believe it. What do you think? Is this notorious predator the real reason we no longer have a Meg? Let us know in the comments below. Number 6. Thalassimodon no, the Thalassimodon is not, in fact, a dinosaur, but an extinct marine reptile that once lived in the open oceans during the Mesozoic era. In Greek, its name translates to Sea Lord, so I think you can pretty easily understand why and how this animal is on the list. The Thalassimodon is about as close to the Loch Ness Monster as prehistoric creatures could ever get. This long-necked animal was known to use its long neck to slowly creep on schools of fish or squid before spearing them with its needle-like teeth. So I guess it's like a giraffe combined with a shark and then combined again with... I don't know, a creeper? Something quiet and sinister. Either way, this is one of the more intimidating and frankly unusual animals that existed during the Megalodon's era. Much like many other predators that lived at this time, the Thalassimodon was notable for stealing prey away from the Meg, a big no-no in the animal kingdom, much like we don't appreciate people stealing food off of our plates. The Meg doesn't like having food taken away from it. Or it didn't, I mean, if you have a big sea giraffe taking your food, you'd be pretty ticked off too. Number 5. A Totus Shark In case you don't speak Greek, a totus quite literally means ear-shaped tooth. So there's a little fact for ya. And actually, that's pretty accurate. Theotodus shark is an extinct species of mackerel shark that does, in fact, have some pretty uniquely shaped teeth. 
It was also one of the top predators of its era. Theotodus shark lived all the way back in the Pleiocene and Eocene eras, around 60 to 45 million years ago, and it was a force to be reckoned with. Scientists believe that the species preyed upon everything from marine mammals to large bony fish and even other sharks. For these sharks, it wasn't about what you eat, but just that you ate constantly. Because these sharks were such notorious and agile predators, it's believed that they likely managed to poach or otherwise steal food from larger or more prolific predators like the Megalodon. The Atoda shark may be a kind of quirky predator thanks to its uniquely shaped teeth, but we have to remember that creatures like this were among the most dangerous of their time. So be careful if you happen to go back in time and find yourself underwater in the Pleistocene or Eocene eras, although if you've somehow managed to get yourself into that situation, you probably weren't being careful in the first place. Number 4. Cetotherium Intriguingly enough, the Cetotherium actually wasn't an enemy in a sense you'd expect. This extinct genus of baleen whales weren't necessarily gifted predators or even just annoyances, but a top-rated meal for the Megalodon. Yes, you're looking at one of the most giant prey animals the Meg ever feasted on. The Cetotherium measured around 14.7 feet long on average, which doesn't sound all that impressive, but back in the Miocene and Pleiocene eras, this animal was one of the bigger animals known to be consumed by the ever-hungry Megalodon. In fact, some fossils show a giant deal of compression damage to the vertebrae, suggesting that these bigger predators, like the Meg, tended to ram themselves into the animal to stun or wind them. With the Cetotherium momentarily paralyzed, the bigger animal could chew them up pretty quickly. So technically speaking, this animal would be considered a foe for the Megalodon. Sadly, the genus Cetotherium had no real way to fight back against the Meg, hence why they were such a popular food source. But still, they're definitely considered one of the larger animals consumed by the Megalodon. Number 3. Basilosaurus Yes, guys, it's true. Dinosaurs I love basil. They go absolutely insane for it. Maybe that's not true, but I'm not a paleontologist, so I'm going to commit to it and just move forward as if that was 100% true. I mean, even if the Basilosaurus hates basil, it's a great starting point. The Basilosaurus was actually one of the first prehistoric whales to be identified, but its history is so much more intriguing. Before the Megalodon came into the scene, the Basilosaurus whale was one of, if not the largest, predator of the Paleogene era. Their unique and varying types of teeth allowed them to prey on animals ranging from sharks to large fish and other marine mammals, allowing them to climb the social ladder and become one of the most fearsome predators in the water. Then the Megalodon arrived, and the rest is history. The Megalodon and the Basilosaurus were undeniably rivals, competing for the same prey in the same waters in the same parts of the world. And while they may have never even encountered one another, it's still pretty obvious that they probably wouldn't have been crazy about each other. But which would have attacked the other? The Meg. I don't think we even have to suggest otherwise. Number 2. Dunkleosteus what? Did you think you're the only one who loves Dunkin' Donuts? Nope, the Dunkleosteus does too. I'm kidding, the Dunkleosteus is absolutely a crispy cream guy, but it's also an extinct genus of arthrodire placoderm fish, which is what we are going to focus on today. We'll save the donut talk for another video. The Dunkleosteus existed during the late Devonian period, around 358 to 382 million years ago, and it was a formidable predator with an almost two-inch thick armor, the strongest bite of any animal, and an unimaginable length of around 50 feet. The Dunkleosteus was absolutely one of the top predators of its time, and unfortunately for other predators, it also was entirely unafraid to eat sharks. Bad news for the Megalodon, right? Only in terms of competition, the Dunkleosteus, while impressive in its own right, could never stand a chance against the Meg, but in terms of stealing the big guy's food, definitely bad news. The Dunkleosteus was easily one of the largest sharks on Earth, and was notorious for its willingness to attack and eat pretty much anything just for a snack. Even if that meant killing one of its own, well, that's a sacrifice they were willing to make. Number 1. Tonosaurus. 
Kronos, leader of the Greek Titans, would be most proud of this animal named after him. The Kronosaurus was a short-necked pleosaur, one of the largest pleosaurs on the planet actually, so why would this curious-looking animal be so disliked by the Megalodon? Easy, because its huge size, the Megalodon relied on slow-moving prey. Unfortunately, the Kronosaurus was kind of the opposite of that. Thanks to its biology, the Kronosaurus was most likely a fast and highly active swimmer in the early Cretaceous period. As if things weren't difficult enough for the Megalodon, now we have an all-new agile and fast animal in the water that just cannot be caught. Big sad for the Big Meg. Even more infuriating, the Kronosaurus was a carnivore meaning it was also likely eating the very prey that the Megalodon was desperate to catch. Wow, well, more sads for the big guy. The Kronosaurus was probably a pretty big annoyance to the Megalodon, just another mouth stealing its food and refusing to allow itself to be eaten. That kind of disrespect probably didn't sit too well with the Megalodon. Who am I kidding? The Megalodon was huge. It didn't care what other animals were doing. Which of these enemies do you think was the most hated by Megalodon? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!